And uh, minutes before the Russian President Vladimir Putin lands in the national capital, and we have with us uh, this evening a special broadcast between Republic TV, India's number one channel, and Russia's RT. Roman Kosarev, who's a correspondent for RT, is joining us on the broadcast uh, this afternoon. Uh, Roman, good afternoon uh, from Mumbai. You're joining us from Moscow. In fact, uh, you know, everyone's looking at this meeting very, very closely. And, and it's uh, also special, we are hearing, because it's only the second time that uh, Vladimir Putin has stepped out of Russia since the outbreak of COVID in 2020. Uh, how significant is this visit, especially for Moscow? Good afternoon, Naran John. Always a pleasure to be on your broadcast. And yes, you're absolutely right. This is just the second time that Vladimir Putin uh, has visited a foreign country during this uh, uh, pandemic period. And uh, this visit by Putin will be uh, in response to uh, Narendra Modi's uh, 2019 trip to the uh, Eastern Economic Forum in uh, Russia's Far East in uh, Vladivostok. Now, uh, Putin's visit to India was actually planned back in 2020, but but uh, as you know, it was uh, postponed. And of course, the main blow to cooperation between uh, the two countries was dealt by uh, this virus, by uh, this pandemic. Now, uh, but uh, besides that, uh, they, they couldn't see each other face to face uh, uh, in their respective countries. But uh, this year, Vladimir Putin and Narendra Modi actually spoke twice. That was uh, in April and back in August as well, when they took part in the United Nations uh, Security Council session on uh, maritime security. They spoke in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. They spoke at uh, BRICS and uh, G20 summits as well. Now, President of Russia and the Prime Minister of India communicates face-to-face -face, uh, regularly, and that's uh, of uh, really great importance to Russia since uh, uh, and that way, it's possible to discuss the most difficult, most delicate issues uh, of the international situation. Uh, now, uh, on Monday, we are expecting a joint statement by Putin and Modi. And after that, as I understand, there will also be talks with the members of delegations. And uh, then, of course, they will all join each other uh, for a di dinner hosted by India. Uh, now, the development uh, of relations with India is uh, very important to Russia, and Russian president spoke about this publicly just in recent days. And uh, Vladimir Putin stressed that uh, India is uh, um, um, oh, India is one of the uh, most authoritative the centers of the uh, multipolar world uh, and the philosophy of the Indian leadership and India's people is uh, very close to that of Russia and uh, thus the bilateral relations are actively developing as well. Now, if we talk about uh, trade between Russia and India, it is now recovering and uh, since the beginning of the year, it amounted to 8.8 .8 billion US dollars. And uh, there is also a cooperation between the countries, both in nuclear energy and in uh, space as well. Now, there are uh, several agreements uh, between the countries that uh, will be signed on Monday. And uh, the countries, the delegations have been working on these deals uh, until the very last minute. And uh, I'm sure uh, these deals will be revealed to all of us uh, after uh, the uh, joint statement by the leaders of uh, Russia and India. And I'm sure we will also hear something on the energy sector as well, since uh, Russia's uh, chief executive officer of uh, the country's oil giant called Rosneft. His name is Igor Sechin. He's also in the delegation. Uh, this company, uh, Rosneft, is uh, developing cooperation with uh, Indian partners on projects that are related to the uh, production, refining, and uh, sale of petroleum products as well. So a uh, very intensive uh, summit, a lot of things to talk about. And once again, we'll hear the outcome once uh, Narendra Modi and Vladimir Putin make their joint statement to the press. Yeah. Looking at what's happened this morning, Roman, we've had agreements signed between India and Russia. There's a contract for procurement of uh, over 6 lakh, the 600,000 uh, assault rifles, the AK-203. There's a lot of uh, discussion around that here in India uh, through the India-Russia uh, Rifles Private Limited. And uh, we all know about the S-400 deal. It's a very strategic uh, 
uh, deal, especially for India. There has been a lot of chatter also around that because some countries are not happy with that deal. India is pushing ahead anyway. And my question uh, to you is, Roman, uh, why are these uh, different defence deals in focus and uh, how important are they for both India and Russia? How is Moscow looking at it? Well, India and Russia, they have uh, a long-term relationship in terms of uh, defense uh, deals. Uh, if, we're talk about, uh, to, if we're to talk about what happened earlier on Monday, well, Indian and Russian defense minister, ministers, uh, Rajnath Singh and uh, Sergei Shoigo, uh, they met in New Delhi, and uh, they're also later on taking part in talks in the 2 plus 2 format with uh, Russian foreign minister Sergei Lavrov and uh, Indian foreign minister Subramaniam uh, Jaishankar. Now, the parties discussed uh, key regional issues, including the situation in the Asia-Pacific region and uh, Central Asia settlements in uh, Afghanistan and Syria, as well as interaction on the platform of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and uh, in the Russia-India China format. Now, in terms of defense deals uh, that were signed uh, earlier on Monday, uh, I'm sure we will hear more after Modi and Putin uh, make their joint uh, statement. Uh, once again, like I said earlier, the parties have been working on uh, straightening out the deals until the very last second. But for now, indeed, we can and uh, talk about uh, a number of agreements, uh, contracts and uh, uh, protocols that are related to small arms as well as uh, military cooperation. Earlier, a Russian uh, uh, defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, said that cooperation between Russia and India is now reaching a new quality level and, and that's been increasing year after year. Like uh, uh, you mentioned, uh, Niran John, that uh, uh, S-400 deal is in place and uh, that's uh, a defensive system which is uh, uh, very important for a country like India considering uh, its uh, surroundings. Yeah. You know, in the 2 plus 2 Dialogue that was held this morning, uh, four ministers, two from India and two from uh, Russia, were a part of that meeting, Roman. And uh, in the opening statements, I'm just going to quote what uh, S. Jai Shankar said. He said, the India-Russia partnership is unique. We know the five decades strong partnership between both countries. He spoke about how we're, conscience, uh, we're, we're very conscious in a world of rapid geopolitical changes. It has, in fact, been remarkably steady and strong. He said we are very satisfied with our bilateral relations in the state of uh, cooperation. Spoke about the significant outcomes that are expected this evening. And my specific question was in the wake of the rapid geopolitical changes that both countries mentioned this morning. Joint interests, one to fight terror. We, for example, we, took, we, looked at, uh, we, we saw the stand that Russia took vis-a-vis uh, -vis the terror threat emanating out of uh, Afghanistan following the takeover of Taliban. They've been very vocal about that. What are some of the common issues, uh, common interests that Russia will be bringing to the table, including the fight on terror? What's uh, the Moscow approach to this? Uh, absolutely. Well, uh, since you have uh, mentioned uh, Afghanistan, let's uh, talk about that because that's on the tip of uh, everyone's t tongue recently. Uh, we, uh, you know, we, we've all seen that uh, TV f TV footage back in. August, when the uh, uh, United States uh, uh, well actually fled from Afghanistan, and that's a terrible footage uh, of what uh, happened uh, to the people that were trying to leave uh, uh, the country as well. So let's talk about Afghanistan here, because uh, uh, both uh, Russia and India, once again, they uh, share uh, similar, well, the same convictions that the country at the moment, it needs uh, an uh, uh, inclusive, uh, it needs an inclusive uh, government. Uh, and uh, both countries adhere to the same position on Afghan issues. Uh, and uh, the, the world and the region, uh, we all understand that it needs a peaceful, calm, predictable Afghanistan and uh, not a country from where we would constantly hear threats of uh, terrorism, uh, drug trafficking and uh, all of the other problems that are associated uh, with, with the country of where th things, uh, a tragedy of such caliber had happened. Now, uh, this would mean a creation of a stable government uh, in which uh, representatives of different views, uh, different uh, confessions, different nationalities and ethnic groups, of course, as well, of Afghanistan would find their uh, rightful place. Well, 
we all know that uh, Russia and India, they're both in favor of immediate assistance to Afghanistan, which uh, will make it uh, possible to stop the humanitarian catastrophe that's uh, happening in the country. We all know well, the poverty level in Afghanistan had increased to up to 55 percent. And I spoke about this to the uh, president of the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent just a couple of days ago. And the situation there, humanitarian catastrophe, is absolutely horrible. And uh, it's uh, more than doable to uh, create uh, stability in Afghanistan since both Russia and India have a very rich uh, uh, track record and a very rich uh, track of contacts on Afghanistan at, uh, uh, and that's in various platforms including the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, uh, Moscow and Delhi Consultation uh, uh, formats and other places as well. So I would say that Russia and uh, India, they are key to creating stability and a safe and uh, predictable Afghanistan. Once again, we will hear uh, more about this probably and the joint statement of uh, Narendra Modi and Vladimir Putin uh, once all the consultations and uh, talks are over you know, on Monday in Delhi. Yeah. Thank you for that very comprehensive uh, you know, uh, report. And uh, looking forward to that meeting between both world leaders expected uh, in roughly about uh, three hours from now. Uh, Roman Kosarev, thank you for joining us here on Republic TV. Look forward to speaking to you once again. Always a pleasure, Narendra. Thank you very much. Thank you.